Again, the AI wants to surrender immediately. But I want to dismantle France, because it's always fun to do that at the end, in the endgame of uh, Victoria 2. Are you doing anything like that against... Uh, Tration of Order... Like, Switzerland, I have no reason to be mad at you. Apparently, we can dismantle your nation as well. What what can we dismantle out of you? Wait, what can we dismantle from Switzerland? I have no idea. I see no reason to do it. Yeah, now Germany wants to dismantle the Russian Empire. So even though they annex Moldova, they'll still be uh, fighting on. You know, France, they have fi still 53 divisions. I don't know where or how. March into some Portuguese colonies. Will you try to dismantle the, um, the Austrian Empire as well? No. At least not as far as I can tell. Yeah, let's dismantle France. We could put troops over there. You know what? We probably should. Let's bring a small 75 stack to the front lines. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of Russian, French troops probably in their colonies. The AI loves to uh, put units in their colonies. And Italy is also now at war with the Austrians. Yeah, everybody's just beating up Austria. Not a big surprise there. What else are you at war with? You also have war like Afghanistan? Afghanistan's probably not going to last for too long, would be my guess. Can I military access for you? Hey, Belgium, do you want to be in this war? You have a truce with France. Yes, you do. Okay, never mind. We'll dismantle France. We'll dismantle... The Russians, which means that, you know, me, Germany, and I guess also Italy, if we can get them, don't decrease relations. We can get them on side. You still have more claims against the Austrian, and you, and you beat the French pretty handily. By the way, Switzerland, do you really want to be in this war anymore? We can dismantle your nation. But I don't know why we would want to. I mean, if Germany wants to maybe do it, we'll, maybe we'll think about it. But yeah, we basically got, like, you know, World War One situation going on here. Yeah, let's... One more, you'll at least be in the positives, which allows a, you know, an alliance to actually happen in the first place. Germany's already marching troops into Paris. The Scandinavian army is doing the best that they can. Use a trade policy, sure. You, you know what? Protect the Scandinavian economy. Back down here. You're not even done taking over this colony quite yet. Okay, so kill this small two stack. None of our territory is being occupied, right? Let me just go back to the north, look at any hostile occupations. You're technically core, so we probably do lose prestige from this land getting occupied, which really sucks. I don't know how much we'll lose, because you are your core, but are you a colony state? No, you're just a regular state. Unfortunately. Our occupations are going pretty, pretty well, I would say. You got, you know, just like one giant stack marching their way through France. Like, I don't think France really, they don't really exist in any meaningful way. Okay, Switzerland. It was nice knowing you. But, Max, did you give me money for doing this? Yeah, and dismantle, and get prep, uh, reparations from them. You are... Yeah, we can actually do this as well. Dismantle Nation. We'll just completely beat up the Swiss. Because let's be honest, Switzerland, they probably deserve it. You not accept that quite yet. Probably because you haven't lost your... No, you have lost your capital. I'm surprised you're being more stubborn about this than I would have thought. 
Germany still doing good work in uh, Russia. Even though I can't support the Russian war directly, I mean, I could probably subsidize them. $3,000 a day? No, I cannot subsidize them. We're at 45 right now. Not accept this offer quite yet. We're gonna climb that because I need I need at least for Switzerland to yeah because we if we don't do it, we lose three hundred prestige. Move our territory up towards here, or move our men up towards the north. Sorry, France. Like I didn't mean for this to be you know so bad for you. Socialization. Do we have anything else actually? Let, let's go for more. Let's go for market structure. <laughs> Get some other basic technologies going. Still not accept this. I mean, once Germany's done conquering France, move our way up to Dunkirk. Then they can move all their units into Russia. Yeah, you all want white peace. The answer to the question right now is no. Still wouldn't accept this. Again, it's going to... Probably like one. These two sieges are done. We sh you should be good. Yeah, you see units now from Germany are starting to move their way over towards the Russian front. Okay, Uruguay, we can get you now up to Cordial. Anybody else trying to take our puppets? As far as I think it's or not our puppets, as far as feelings. The answer right now seems like it's no. How are you not wanting to give up? There you go. And there we go. An, a, a cheeky little war. Move our units back up towards the north. Are you all worth anybody else? The answer is no, you're not. The Treaty of Paris has been signed. The war is over. So let's see what happened here. Let's go some more just basic technologies. Belgium took over uh, Artois, and they've taken over a little bit of territory here. Germany hasn't gotten anything. I think Italy got some more land. Brittany is now an independent country. Neutral with us, so I will uh, I'll spend a lot of points in there. Apparently, they don't even like me right now. I don't know what I've done against them. Hey, Italy. Yeah, one more increased relations with you. And we can see Japan's starting to influence their way into China. The Anhao clique is doing pretty good for themselves. And they mostly this little independent Morocco over here. We are poor. We can probably cut down military spending here. Might as well pay off the rest of our loans. No, Nepal, you do, you do your own thing. So Italy's taking a bunch of territory. I've noticed that I didn't even get a pop-up to taking any land. Okay, Hungary put you, I guess, up to friendly again. Did I really not get any claims? <laughs> it was my war goal! Hey, Italy, yeah, we can be friends. We might, um... Russian colonies. Yeah, no, we'll take what we can get, for sure. Let's form Turkestan. Let's recognize these countries. Apparently we now own the, the Near East, and we have Ukraine in our sphere. I guess... Might as well dodge to get Indonesia, maybe. I like how these guys are now in my sphere, even though that makes no sense. Oh, but we do have Karelia now. Beautiful. I like how Finland still exists a little bit, but that's okay. Dagestan, sir. Okay, you're not in my sphere anymore. Ukraine, I want you to stay in my sphere, and you're my puppet. I don't even know why I got territory out of Russia. I wasn't even there. But I mean, I'll take it. 
These borders are fucking garbage. They're so bad. But, you, you know, yeah, we can... Yeah, we already have an alliance with you. We have an alliance with all you in the south as well, which is really, really nice. Are you going to stay a great power? You're still in seventh place, even though you lost all that land. So, you know, good for you. Apparently, France, they still own the northern coast of Algeria. I think we do need to... We need to fix these borders. Um... Because they're so bad. Change. Owner. Jur. 1892. So we're going to be doing this for just a second. 1894. 97. 98. Uh, 1902, 1901, 03, and you're probably, yeah, 04, okay. So I think those borders look a little bit better. You know, I'll give Italy, to compensate for me getting all that land to Germany, we'll give this stuff to Italy. Uh, so you're 2609, 1807. 1805, and then 1803. There you go. So got Italian West Africa, German West Africa. And I, I feel personally like Italy has no presence in Asia. Also, I feel like I should get Madagascar. Twenty-one, 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 twenty. Two, two, one, five. You're 2119. 2122. Two. 17, and you are 18. I think that seems good. And the question what do we do about Vietnam? Do we let Italy just keep Vietnam? I mean, the thing is, like, they weren't even in the war. I mean, they allowed, they gave the, they gave the conditions that allowed them to. For us to easily win the war in the first place. So you know what? I will, as a compromise to Italy, I will take um, Cambodia. But they can have Vietnam and Laos. Are you even part of Cambodia? Does that makes sense. Yeah, that that's my compromise. You, I mean, we did get territory out of the war against Russia, even though we weren't we didn't fight that war at all. There you go. Th there's our compromise. I mean, Romania, they're just they're living their life. Um, let's reorganize Madagascar. Thank you very much. So yeah, now that France is dead, I mean, Russia's also dead. We got Karelia. Is there any more land we would even want from Russia that would even make any sense? I don't really know. Probably not, right? I mean, it's nice that we actually got free cores over all this land. I did not expect that. Yeah, Kamachev, sure, we can have an alliance. We're also allied to Mongolia. Mongolia, for some reason, also allied to the French. I'm not too sure why that would be the case, but okay. Ukraine, do you have any cores? You have cores over Austria and against Crimea. Crimea right now is in the Italian sphere. Friendly with Hungary. Apparently you're friendly with these countries, and I don't really know why. I don't really care about these central um, Asian countries. They don't mean too much to me. Do you have a core still over Brittany? You do. Do not accept an alliance. I don't even remember the Spain run, to be honest. You still will not accept. Negative 78. Well, I mean, are we friendly or are we neutral? We're neutral with you. Trying to get them in our sphere. I 
I'm really surprised that even with all that, like, Russia is still considered a major power. They're still in seventh place. I mean, Hungary doesn't have any cores against Austria. Poland does. Ukraine does. Romania, of course, does. But yeah, like, we just own Central Asia. We didn't do anything for it against the United States of America. Yeah, I see. No re we, there's no reason for us to go to war with the U.S. It makes no sense in this given the situation. Like, how are we going to get there for one? Can't build more units. Mostly in East Africa. Two, three, four, five. Build five artillery. Build more tanks in Europe. And you know, why don't we build two troops in Indochina? You guys can rally there. Well then, choose Madagascar and we'll just deploy down towards the south. I can start building, you know, more railroads, more, you know, everything. More naval bases. Actually, is there any money we can put into our new vassal states? We can put some money in the Dagestan. Um, we can put a little bit of money here. You know, why don't we throw some money into Portugal as well? Apparently, they don't just fear the French. I don't know how that happened. Socialization. You know, let's go for you. Can we build any more better ships as well? Like, can we build any more dreadnoughts? Yes, we can. Build another four. Follow that up with as many battleships as we can possibly field. It'll be expensive to maintain this fleet, sure. But it's going to give us a lot of power projection, I think, in the future. Thank you for one singular prestige. That does uh, make a big difference to me. I only have 56 with you. Other national investors. Can I put more money into uh, Hungary? No, they don't allow uh, investment right now. Very, very sad. I mean, the Ottoman Empire, they still exist. Their territory, to put it nicely, looks like ass. Well, that's okay. I mean, our territory also looks like ass. I would really like to take some more British territory so I can make these borders look a little bit nicer, but that's okay. Wait, who owns this island? Newfoundland. Okay. It's going to be like, did Italy get that island off of Canada? But unfortunately, they did not. Like, who are you allied to? You're just allied to Russia. And... What about you guys? Do you have any actual units? Do you have a 27 stack? Let's go for an open hearth furnace. The stock exchange! Let's go! Kamacha's at war. Are they at war with the Russians? No, they're at war with you. Are you friendly with anybody? No. Do you have any soldiers? It's four against one. Neutral with everybody. I guess I'll say yes, because, like, I don't really lose anything. At least I don't think I lose anything. Maybe I do. Chunk C clique. I mean, Italy's got, like, a pretty decent empire going on. I mean, they've had, a, they've had a pretty good game, all things considered. Is Morocco considered a major power? Yes, they are. They are in the sphere of the British. We'll see, maybe Spain... They can get their independence from Spain. Also, apparently Belgium will annex the other Congo. So it's a very, very, very big Congo Free State. And our Navy is doing well. Can't build any more units right now, but that's okay. In Hungary, we can finally actually put back into our sphere of influence. The problem is, like, our army is a little small because we are just a, um... A national China once again exists. We're, we're, our army is small because, you know, Scandinavia doesn't have a large population. I mean, actually, it's 17 million. But I think that includes all of our colonies, which, you know, Ukraine's at war. They're at war with the Austrians and with Russia. How many does Russia have? Zero. Okay. You also were the Dutch. Hmm. You'll join that war. 
Belgium, are you a war? You're, you have a truce with the Dutch. You can't join that war. Italy has a truce with none of these people. No, they do. They have a truce with the Russians. Um, We might as well call you into the war. Are you, uh, yeah, you're a civilized nation. Join these wars. Increase military spending to maximum. We're paying $5,000 in subsidies right now, but that's okay. And I don't think we're allied to anybody else. Because you're, you're wanting this land. Well, we can now just move straight into Petrograd. Because you don't have an army. I guess we can also just mobilize for now. Mobilize the armed forces. We'll have a couple of death stacks just march through. And now is there anything from Russia at this point we would actually even want? Maybe you? Like this province right there? I'm really not too sure. Okay, Brittany, we can get you up to... As long as we're at least like friendly with Brittany, if the French want to invade, they have to kind of fight us. Again, two points against you. The Dutch are here. Well, I mean, our navy has to beat the Dutch navy, right? They have 41 ships. The Dutch are moving their troops just through the country as ever they feel like it. Crank up naval spending as well. How many troops did the Dutch have? 71 divisions? Let's get our units together. We were units like this. Russia's coming back here to try to fight us. But of course, they will only have pure infantry armies. Do they have gas attack? I mean, they, they have gas defense at least. Okay, got 6.4 war square out of this. Um, why don't we go with you? Wait to see, because we... You're me. Place in the sun. So you do have colonial... Something or other. Wait, what is it? Colonial... That sounds like very far north. If you guys should go to civilized... Yeah, it's this area, which I don't think we want to take any of that land for obvious reasons. Take from Sea of Influence. Reparations is usually pretty cheap. Choir State. It's 11 Infamy, which is not, you know, not free. Wait, where are you guys coming from? I don't know. We've got a small Dutch army moving our way into our territory. We should be able to fight you. Are you an actual army? No, you're just pure infantry. So it means if it's just pure infantry, our pure infantry will be your pure infantry. I would have to imagine. I mean, you're on military tech right now. Military tech 24. We're on 26. The Dutch are currently at military tech 25. Are you a good general? You are attack plus two. Okay. Move in. We might lose more men, but we have more men. That kind of evens out in the long run. How long is your truce with them to last? Until 1921. Okay. So for a while would be the answer to that. Do we have any cost abilities against you? No. We can take over the rest of Java. Our navy's still doing pretty good. 102,000 infantry. And who else are we at war with? We're at war with Austria. We know that. We have a cost ability against you. Free allied cores of Ukraine. I mean, that's kind of what we're already fighting for, so it makes no sense to do that. Hey, Hungary, do you want to be in this war? you have any cores on this land? No, you don't. I guess you lost your cores here after... After Austria took it? A little unfortunate for you. I 
Now we lost that battle. We're defending here. Do another 66 stack. Might as well send you down to here. Do you have actual artillery in this army? That's one of the biggest problems we might have. You have 6,000 artillery. We have 2,000. So I, mean, I guess we don't have nothing. Yeah, you move here. You're doing good work. Start pushing our way towards Moscow. Yeah, Ukraine's pushing her way into the into Russia now as well. Let's see, placing a sun, liberate country. Is there any country that you'd want to liberate? For a 12 war score. Ta Union. Serbian, Siberian Republic, 94 war score. Are you the Siberian, who are you? You're the Ural Free State. The Siberian Republic be all of this land. But I don't know if that's really necessary. How are you doing so good against us? I mean, we don't have a good defense general, sure. Combine, split in half, move north. I mean, I want to take... Um, it's not East Java. Yeah, it's East Java. I want to at least take East Java from the Dutch. We can get control of the, over the entire island. The Dutch have a navy over here. They're not blockading me, right? No. Then the basic infantry out, go to Moscow. Yeah, so Russia's dead. There, there, there's no coming back from their situation. Plan economy. Stop fighting my troops. It's actually incredibly, incredibly rude. Yeah, get the hell out of here. You know, just stay like, just stay at the 109 stack. That should be fine. No, you stay in Moscow. You keep moving. Nizhny Novgorod's a pretty decent city. Austria, we have gotten. We're at six percent against them. How many troops does Austria have? 97, 31. I yeah, forget if they say no to one war, they technically say no to all the wars. What's a cordial with you? Were we not already a cordial? Or did our relations probably get dropped? They probably got dropped at some point. So you know what, Brittany? We'll drop you for now. Chechnya is going to go into the American sphere. I don't care. In any meaningful way. And let's see if we can just move our troops onto Amsterdam. How do you not have a leader? I think once you take over this province, you get a leader, because, yeah, you're in friendly territory. Move on to Amsterdam. You got a 46 stack of, of uh, Dutch troops there. But an actual fully-fledged army will be doing pretty well. Oh, you're actually the war... Wait, you're the war leader? I thought Russia would be the war leader, but no, apparently it's you. What? What's your most... Industrious province. Moscow. Kazan. We're not taking Moscow, obviously. Okay, acquire state. Let's take some more territory from you. Oh no, Tetshi has no longer in our sphere of influence. Whatever could we possibly do? By the way, Rush, will you just surrender already? Okay, the Liberals have won once again. Do not accept that peace offer. You should. It's a pretty good offer for you. Even if you're dug in a lot, like our units are just better than yours, so we'll crush this Dutch army. Now you'll accept calls to arms of both wars. 
10 point war score there. The Dutch are treating their way into you. You'll not accept military access. But you're you're a puppet of the um our ally, so it's still fine. I think it's good to take our units back home. They don't need to be in hostile lands anymore. We're at 51 against you. Russia, you really don't want to just give up. Yeah, you'll you'll accept this offer. The Scandinavia, our power continues to grow. Do you want to just peace out now? Is there anything else you would want? Probably not. I, I think this is good. And then we'll do another Prov ID just so I can change this so we have the full island. Is that cheating? Uh, maybe, but I don't care. It'll make the borders look nicer. I accidentally gave myself the coastline. Hopefully it doesn't break the game. Uh, 1416. Yeah, we know technically, as far as the game's concerned, own that coastline. The game does care. The game cares a lot because the game immediately 